Yes, good. Ah, oh, this matches my mood so well. I'm in such a good spot right now. Such a good place in my life. Reach that age where I don't need anything from my parents. And I have about 10 years before they need anything from me. That's a good window of time. Cherish that time. You don't have to be around those people. Just hang on to that moment. You can't get to know your parents in the middle of your life. That's why I moved out when I was 21, 26, and 28. Because you have to get out. You gotta get out and stay out. You really don't, you're too smart to get to know your parents at that point in your life. Nobody else will lose that much credit with you in your lifetime, as much as your parents do. Nobody will change as much in your eyes. Because when you're born, those people are brilliant. Like, look at these people. Turning on the TV. Look at the way they locate cookies with no effort. They're geniuses. And then you grow up and you're like, oh, they're just people. And you grow up more and you're like, oh, they're people with learning disabilities. I don't think dad can read. Do you think dad can read? No, I think he just holds up the newspaper at breakfast so we won't talk to him. That's the feeling I get. I think the vibe is he just needs a buffer for half an hour in the morning. Later on, I watched my dad cut an electrical box out of a wall with a saw that was plugged into that electrical box. I was smarter by then. I was like, how does this end? How does this end for you? You're completing a circuit right now. Best case scenario, the saw will shut off. More realistically, I'm gonna have to be there for mom for the next five years. So cool it. Take a break. That's why you have to get out. I got out a bunch of times. Had a few false starts, that's why I had to move back in. Moved out when I was 21 the first time. Tried to make that a go. But I moved into an apartment. I don't know if anyone has moved into an apartment after a lifetime of lush house living. It is not the same thing. People say it's very close. It is not at all close. You take a lot of things for granted when you live in a house. For example, when you walk outside of your house, you are outside. That's a big thing. People take that for granted. The threshold of your residence connects to the outside world. When you walk out the front door and you're out there and you, birds are chirping, the sun is shining, take it in. What a great day. Because you'll move into an apartment and you'll walk out of that door. You're still inside. A dingy carpet. One of those neon lights flickering like an unlicensed hospital. You stand there and think, who keeps cooking their garbage? Why are you cooking your garbage? Don't eat that. It's not safe. There's some apartment recipe where you slow cook onions for two thirds of a year. You just set the stove to one. And you just brown them for eight months. You just, not yet. Not yet, and you don't have a lid for your pan anymore, so you just shut the windows of your apartment and just pressurize the whole 300 square feet. And let it brown, and then the pressure just pushes it out under the door into the hallway. So I have something that burns my eyes while I'm trying to have an awkward conversation with that old lady whose dog bites everybody when she talks to them. This is a whole different vibe when you're in an apartment. You're in danger all the time, all the time. When you live in a house, you don't even lock the back door half the time. You're so, yeah, they'll never think of that. I'm only protecting against lethargic criminals. Just the guy who's gonna come to the front door and go, I tried, I don't really wanna. You're male, you don't care. It comes in a little tin box, you don't even shut the lid half the time. Sometimes they just throw it on the porch and leave. When you live in an apartment, your mail comes in a safety deposit box that there's only one key for. How much danger are you in if your pizza coupons get delivered the same way they take money from the bank at the end of the day? You're in so much danger. When you see loose mail in front of those mailboxes, you're scared for whoever that is for. You're so afraid. You're like, why don't they have a mailbox for that guy? Is he dead? Nobody cares, he's not getting his mail. You're so afraid of everything. There's a 
buzzer system that they only use in apartments and minimum security prisons. <laughs> You're in so much danger. There's always, there's so many locks. There's so many locks. If you live in a house, you have one lock on the door. Just one, click, done. If you live in an apartment, it's just a, the whole door has had a lock on it at some point. There's always two locks. There's always a third spot where you can tell a lock has been clearly kicked off the door at some point <laughs> in some previous situation by some guy who you hope knows that that old guy doesn't live here anymore so he doesn't come kicking it in again. And there's always a chain, a little piece of chain, just to keep you guys extra safe. A little piece of chain that's supposed to make it all your fears go away. Okay. Don't have to sleep in the closet with a knife anymore. The chain is on. Little piece of chain, it's this thick, the chain. Yeah, it's this thick. If you were gonna lock up a bike, you would use chain this thick, guaranteed. Oh, my bike, we'll go with this stuff. Me and my family, we'll just go with the quarter inch on that, save a little money. It's just the guy and his family. Yeah. It doesn't even keep the door shut all the way. It opens halfway. That means there's people in your building that wanna hurt you or kill you. They've gotten past the buzzer, but you might wanna to talk to them about something. <laughs> Who are you opening the door halfway for? Don't second guess those. You look out the peephole, which is your only legal window in the apartment. And there are halfway people. Uh, maybe he's just selling knives. Let's see what he has to say. <laughs> Leave it shut. Or move back in with your parents. I don't know, either or. I gotta go. My name is Graham Chittenden.